Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Digby. This is going to be the winner's match of BSL Season 14 Hasu League Group B. By the way, special... So, Zero able to go full-time, so we get the really cool overlays like this for these brackets. I think this honestly looks even better than what's on the Pro League cast, but that's me. Rancor, starting at the 9 o'clock location as the... I don't want to call that, the, I'll, I'll call it, I wanted to say Marine Green again, but I'll call it Zergling Green. Zergling Green, Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the Blue Protoss. I actually have him out in Twitch chat. And I was going to ask, like, you you played Doodle a couple seasons ago, or was that Zeddy? I know Doodle played Zeddy, but he doesn't know either. This is going to be on Ascension, which, I don't know which, I don't know if I want to say that, it, I feel like it's a little bit more favored towards Zerg, especially with Rancor's playstyle, where he is so aggressive in the early game. Simply because you've got that high ground. Let's go ahead and do a map reveal fast. So, Because you got this high ground leading into the third. As far as Hydralisks engaging along this point, since you've got kind of that funnel, it makes Zealots being able to chase them down and surround them a little bit more challenging. And holding... Let's go ahead and reveal again. Do that too early. And holding this third against massive Hydralisks over the natural expansion can be a challenge. I do like that with these spawn points, Mutalisk uh, invasion, kind of, you know, you can see Mutalisk trying to dance in and out. There's a lot of room to harass if you're doing three Atch Muta, but the natural expansion isn't just exposed over a cliffside edge like it was in previous iterations. This was based on uh, Blue Storm, but you can see where here you can kind of do the escape into the Oblivion uh, over the natural expansion, whereas at the other spawn points, a little bit more challenging to run around and get the Mutalisk grass off. It looks like a Drone Scout moving out. We are seeing, I think this was an overpool. And Hatchery being planted down, rather, that's going to, so another build is going to slow down the Zerglings a bit. We are seeing a Nexus. I think that was a Nexus before Forge, even, before Doodle. I should have paid more attention to what was going on in the background. Drone face-to-face -face battle workers. Ooh, the drone getting a couple free shots, though. But th this is going to be sufficient enough Zerglings, even with delay. So yeah, I think Rancor, upon seeing that, getting first scout out, is just going to go ahead and make a beeline. The probe, oh, doing a good job blockading that second Zergling. So that might have bought a little bit of time, but this is going to be a rush. And the drone being pushed back, it's unfortunately, uh, unfortunate this drone took so much damage, because otherwise it could have helped blockade this front door. But this cannon... Maybe with a bit of micro, Rancor can take this. He's starting to move up. There are eight Zerglings. If he can get on top of that cannon as it's morphing in, that will be that. But there are probes there to help defend. It's getting pushed off. So one Zergling attacking the cannon. Two Zerglings attacking the cannon. The rest going from that back edge. Several probes down. And the cannon gets wiped out. Yeah, Doodle being too greedy. Was just hoping he was going to get scouted loud. And that was a quick one. There's GG. You cannot play greedy like that versus Rancor. He will capitalize. So a quick one. Rancor advances to the round of 16. Good to see him going to the depths. We'll see Doodle in the final match. And we'll move to the other side of the bracket to see who he faces. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.